the semiconductor industry is a very fast growing industry right and indian government has also invested 76000 crores to make our semiconductor industry as a global hub to put our country as the global electronic designs system design and manufacturing hub in front of the global markets indian government has created many schemes and invested a very huge amount to strengthen our semiconductor industry our indian semiconductor industry why i am saying you all these things to prove to explain you that yes the semiconductor industry is growing very fast and because this industry is growing very fast the jobs in semiconductor industry will be very in demand in the next 2 or 5 years definitely now we all understand that consumer electronics or the demand for laptops or smartphones or the electric vehicles is also growing in the market right all these devices can i so say in all these devices chips are required right now the semiconductor industry or the electronics market they definitely uh, they definitely need chips or uh, processors right now because of this growing demand for chips and processors people who work on these chips people who work on the integrated circuits is also in demand that is where vlsi engineers demand comes in vlsi stands for very large scale integration so vlsi engineers are the people who design or who create the integrated circuits with the help of numerous transistors on a single chip so they basically work on the chip design part now because of the huge investment or the different type of schemes government has initiated or has launched in the market that is the reason very big companies like example micron or foxconn or i would say amd these kind of big giants who are chip makers they are also showing their interest to start their manufacturing unit or their a division in india so that they can start making chips from india or they are starting their uh, business uh, manufacturing unit division kind of thing from india because of the schemes that are launched by the government now because the chip making companies are also launching their divisions in india definitely vlsi engineers demand will is going is going to double or triple in the near future now why vlsi engineers demand you should be considering if you are if you have done your graduation in electronics and communication btech ece or btech e triple e if you are from this kind of background instead of thinking of of it job it job it job you should also consider embedded systems your core jobs i mean to say embedded embedded system jobs also at the same time vlsi jobs also now vlsi engineers or the professionals in vlsi uh, uh, part plays a very important role in semiconductor industry right now let us understand how what is the salary part that is offered to a vlsi engineers because salary definitely brings lot of motivation right if you are a fresher who has who is planning to enter into vlsi companies your salary may range from 3 lakhs rupees to 6 lakhs rupees depending from company to company and city to city 3 lakhs to 6 lakhs rupees Uh, package per annum if you have 2 years or 5 years 2 to 5 years experience then you can expect salary between 6 lakhs package to 15 lakhs package per annum now if you get into vlsi career what kind of companies will be hiring you what kind of companies usually have this kind of job roles very big companies for example intel nvidia advanced micro devices amd qualcomm apple samsung electronics synopsis broadcom there are numerous these kind of bigger organizations which has or which takes uh, projects or depending on the vlsi works now all all these companies are definitely multinational companies very big branded very big uh, companies and if you get into job into these companies i can definitely say yes your life is set uh it's a very booming industry and very fast growing industry so your demand if you get into this career your demand is going to skyrocket very soon now if you want to become a vlsi engineer what are the skill set that you should possess right uh 
the first thing i would say is if you're if you're from the electronics and communication background for example if you have done btech in ece or triple e or you have done your graduation in electronics and communication that is the first thing that companies will be checking apart from this if you have good solid understanding about the digital logic if you have good knowledge about analog and mixed signal expertises if you have good knowledge on semiconductor physics and process technology that will help you to grab job as a vlsi engineer not only this but i would also say if you have some good expertise or knowledge about circuit design and layout same way computer aided design we call it cad cad tools timing and power analysis verification and testing problem solving and communication skills is always there it is like for every job communication skills is required right same thing in vlsi also if the candidate has very good communication skills apart uh, with all these skills then that will be a deadly combination i mean to say a very good combination candidates can definitely expect a very good salary package and very good uh, uh, very good uh, job opportunity in a bigger organization these are the skill set what are the designations that are offered to a vlsi engineer designation differs from company to company in few company the these candidates will be called as vlsi designer in few companies they are called as vlsi engineers again in few companies they are called as analog design engineer or same way in few companies they will be called as digital design engineer so the designation may vary from company to company but their work will be same they will be working on integrated circuits they will be working on chips now this is about the designation i have explained you and i think you have also understood which companies hires usually what are the companies vlsi engineers can get their job vacancies will there be any uh, internship opportunities yes people who are in their second year third year or fourth year if we, if they want to do internships in vlsi thing then they can definitely use google search there is a website called internshala you can check in internshala also for vlsi internships very good companies are available there who provide 3 months to 6 months internship programs also to the students now uh, where can you do vlsi training there are many training institutes i mean to say online offline there are many good training institutes you have to visit them talk to them attend their demo videos only then decide where to join right now not only classroom training online training but are there any free courses that are available online yes there are many free courses available online youtube is definitely always there we all know that but apart from youtube there are also few com few platforms or websites i'll i'll uh, i'll read the read the free resources for you you can note it down in your notebook the first one is nptel that stands for national program on technology enhanced learning nptel is the first resource the second resource is of course coursera third one is edx youtube is definitely there we also have something called vlsi pedia so in vlsi pedia also you will find very good content very huge content on vlsi industry you will find from that that website apart from these we also have open course where ocw platforms online forums and communities are also there where you can discuss with other members or people who are already working in vlsi industry and you can clarify your doubts with them so these are the free resources where you can learn vlsi are there any certification or is certification required i would say yes certification will definitely add that weightage to your profile if you put one or two certification in your resume or in your curriculum vitae hrs or the interviewers will definitely give some more weightage to your profile what kind of certification of course there are premium certifications also i will read down the certifications available you can note it down in your notebook the first one is i triple e certified vlsi professional there is cadence certification program synopsis certification program ARM university program VLSI online courses and certification Coursera has certification Udemy also have VLSI design courses so these are the free certificate these are the uh, certifications you should definitely check them out on Google gain more information about them and once you are ready with your subject knowledge you can definitely take this certification program make sure if you pass this certification to put the certifications in your linkedin profile also and on your resume also 
so this was all about vlsi career i have explained you if you have any questions you can put down in the comment section of this video i would always suggest uh, people who are doing their electronics i mean to say graduation in b triple uh, e or ece you should consider embedded systems and vlsi also as one of your career path instead of uh, like instead of their core jobs i have seen plenty of people without proper career guidance moving into IT job, IT career, programming, full stack development, and different different IT careers. If you're crazy about, if you're passionate about IT, that is a different thing. But under societal pressure, if you are getting into IT, I would say that is not a right decision. Good career guidance is also important. So my suggestion to all the people from ECE or Triple E will be. think about embedded system think about vlsi these two are very good careers and uh, next 2 years or next 5 years these are very booming industry in india huge jobs will be created plenty of demand will be there for vlsi professionals embedded system professionals also with that i conclude this video if you are watching this video for the first time please subscribe i i'm creating videos on careers different different careers and jobs every day I also have a very active Telugu channel. My Telugu channel's name is Pashams. So yes, if you're watching this video for the first time, please subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much. All the best and Namaste.